The Kingdom of Bahrain is poised to welcome visitors from the Gulf region and the wider world. In different parts of the island, preparations have been underway for 18 months. But the main focus is here at Sakia Air Base, soon to welcome thousands of visitors, scores of cutting edge aircraft, and key decision makers from the international aerospace industry. Behind the scenes, there are many skilled individuals, Bahrainis and others from across the aviation world, who come together to create one of the most exciting events on the industry's busy cosmopolitan calendar. Welcome to the Bahrain International Air Show. Thursday on Radio Bahrain. Good morning, Bahrain. It's a very pleasant 26 degrees, giving us perfect conditions for the opening day of the Bahrain International Air Show, which takes off this morning. Opening morning, and with 84 aircraft on display at Sakir. There's been a steady stream of arrivals from different parts of the world. His Majesty King Hamad is here to open the show and to welcome a special guest who's arriving in an Airbus A380 in Emirates livery. Fully loaded, Emirates Twin Deck A380 can accommodate 840 passengers. But today, it's carrying Emirati Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and his entourage. King Hamad and Sheikh Mohammed are both flying enthusiasts. And both men continue to support and guide the aviation sector across the Gulf region. Bahrain's national airline is the long-established Gulf Air. Its distinctive livery is a familiar sight at airports across the Gulf region and as far away as London, Bangkok and Manila. The airline currently serves 41 destinations in 34 countries across the world. On the Gulf Air stand, Iman Mandil has been welcoming a steady stream of visitors. So good, it's been an exciting day. Been here all morning. Uh, interesting to see all the different types of trades and people that are here. My job is to keep an eye on the aircraft. If they have technical questions that I can answer, that's all I'm doing here at the moment and enjoying myself, of course. Away from the air show, Iman plays a rather different role. One of more than 4,000 Gulf Air employees, she has the crucial position of maintenance engineer, looking after aircraft on their routine service checks. When Aman joined the company four years ago, her appointment was a first in the region. I was the first female engineer in Bahrain to actually join Gulf Air as a mechanical engineer. In the beginning, it was really hard for me. I wasn't accepted. But, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. I'm just thankful I could, I could do what I love to do. In the aircraft, we check the emergency equipment. 
we check the oxygen bottles, the first aid kit, we check the loudspeakers, we do a walk around, we check the wheels, we open up the engine and then we check for oil leaks, fuel leaks, basically any abnormalities around the aircraft. So it's a lot of responsibility. The aviation theme continues when Iman gets home after her 12-hour shift. Hello! I'm married and I have a little baby girl who's a year and four months. He's quite fascinated with aircrafts. I think we have another little engineer coming up. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing our Gulf Air aircraft fly by. That'll be the proudest moment. That'll be the highlight of my day, actually, watching one of my aircrafts fly over. It'll make me and my family proud to be part of this whole event. The air show's primary purpose is to generate business, and all three sectors of the industry, military, civil, and private, are well represented here. The Bahrain Air Show is impressive. It works very well for us. It's a purpose-built facility. It's optimally designed. It's perfect for an air show. Air shows like this are very, very valuable to us. It gives us a chance to meet with our customers in the region and really helps us develop our business relationships. Just the presence of all the industry players here, I think it shows that uh, the industry has a lot of confidence in the region and in Bahrain. Amongst the international exhibitors, the Canadian aerospace industry is represented by Bombardier. Back in Montreal, Bombardier is Canada's leading manufacturer of civil and private aircraft. After months of preparation, the company's new C-Series jet will be presented to a range of international clients in Bahrain. Bahrain has a great set of future customers for us. It's a new show. It's only a couple years old in a region that's growing very, very rapidly. There's a lot of excitement there. There's a lot of dynamism. There's a lot of new, new customers and new faces. So it's a fantastic show for us, and we're really excited to go there. Like every other aerospace corporation, Bombardier is a truly global business. Everyone thinks that, uh, well, the aircraft's built in Canada. Well, it's actually only final assembled in Canada, right? If you think about it, this nose section here is built in uh, Montreal. The main section here will be built in China and Shenyang. The wings are built in Belfast, and they're all composite. Uh, the horizontals and vertical stabs are made by uh, Alenia in Italy, and the engines will be made by Pratt. Truly, all aircraft today, all large aircraft in particular, are extremely global. Bombardier's research and development teams have been working on the C-Series aircraft for over five years. But for this new generation jet to go into production, firm orders must first be obtained. And the Bahrain show represents an important opportunity to secure that business. In the week before the show, Bombardier was the first international exhibitor to arrive on site. The Canadian team has brought with them one of the most sophisticated aircraft sales tools ever seen in the Gulf region. Fully assembled, it's an exact recreation of Bombardier's new generation aircraft, complete with the scent of new leather. We're selling the airplane three years ahead of its entry into service. You can make a lot of brochures, but the mock-up is critical. 
We've chosen to put a cockpit simulator on the nose of this cabin as well. And that's a tremendous sales tool because the cockpit of this airplane is the latest generation technology. It's phenomenal, phenomenal technology. And it really, really shows well. The business area of the show is deliberately kept to a compact size. And this boutique feel means that more business can be achieved in a shorter space of time. It's a show that helps the companies meet their clients uh, in, in a nice environment. And, and this is what uh, Bahrain's strength has been over the years, is, is um, diversity, openness, friendliness in a business-friendly environment. Away from the civilian side, and with many senior Air Force and military personnel on site, this is a busy time for companies like Lockheed Martin. We will spend a lot of time with our customers here talking about uh, their uh, Air Forces, uh, their militaries, uh, what their requirements are, and what we can do working together. Lockheed's F-16 Block 40 all-weather strike variant is displayed here by the Royal Bahraini Air Force. The RBAF was founded 40 years ago by His Majesty King Hamad and is proudly represented by many officers, including Captain Ghanem al-Ramahi, one of the force's elite fighter pilots. Captain Ghanem's real work takes place just a few miles from the airshow at Issa Air Base. My passion for aviation started when I was uh, 10 years old. I witnessed fighter pilots taking off. I wanted to be just like them. I knew it won't be easy, but it would be a dream come true if I were to succeed. To become an F-16 fighter pilot, you have to have the skill, courage, motivation, and the determination to be better in all aspects of flying. Every personnel does his duty because his uh, country is counting on him. As a fighter pilot, you go through a lot of pressure, a high Gs, high speed. So it's really important to maintain your physical and mental fitness. Another visitor from that U.S. aircraft carrier is Lieutenant Jeffrey Bauchmann, who's been released from active duty for a few days. It's really neat. It's a one-of-a-lifetime kind of experience that a lot of people don't get to do, so I think I'm enjoying it. Really, my, my job here is just kind of stand here in front of the aircraft and uh, talk to people about it, kind of you know answer questions is the real part here. But uh, a lot of it, too, is uh, you know showing our friendship with our countries. It's a relaxed scene, but Lieutenant Bauchmann's day job is somewhat different. If 
by the F-18 Super Hornet. It was designed to kind of be an all-around strike fighter. It's a pretty all-around capable airplane. It is a daily rush. We're usually grumpy when we're not flying. Lieutenant Bachman is attached to the USS Carl Vincent, one of the US Navy's vast aircraft carriers that operate out of the 5th Fleet's base at Jaffer in Bahrain. With hundreds of aircraft movements in every 24-hour period, the Carl Vincent's flight deck is not an easy place to operate. It is dangerous. A lot of people relate it to a roller coaster. I think it's more like a car accident. It's a sudden stop in a very short range. Lieutenant Bauchmann's routine takes him on regular patrols around the Gulf region and overflying Afghanistan. Attending the Bahrain air show was an unexpected opportunity for him. Luckily, the opportunity was offered to me to go to Bahrain. Pretty excited. I get to meet with a lot of other pilots from other countries, kind of share our, you know, our stories about flying, which would be pretty neat. Just kind of meet a lot of those friendly countries that we currently have operations with. Back at the show, Lieutenant Bauchmann compares notes with Bahraini F-16 pilot, Captain Gano. So how's the landing on the carrier? Is it's it? interesting. Really? The daytime is fun, the nighttime is not fun. You'll see the boat rocking left and right, so it's oh. really kind of awkward, because you'll see the runway like swaying back and forth. I would trade it for a, a landing on a runway. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice Good to luck. meet you. There's a unique bond of friendship and respect among pilots, regardless of the aircraft they fly or their nationality. This feeling is encouraged by the compact nature of the Bahrain airshow. The afternoon's air display is on. We begin with a close formation fly past of the Royal Bahraini Air Force F-16 and the F-5 fighter jets. The air show commentary box is manned by RBAF officer Ahmed Al Khalifa and veteran airline pilot Stratton Ritchie. That's got to make you very proud, hasn't it? Sure. Indeed, I hope you look to be at this plane. It's getting emotional now. There's pride for you. What a great flyby. When we first came two years ago, we hadn't met each other before, and we've just become really good friends. There is a bond between air crew. We, we share the same stories, and it's great fun. After a couple of chats, he's like your brother, because he goes through uh, whatever you go through and he knows what uh, flying is. Next up, we're delighted to fly Abu Dhabi, a relatively newly formed display team, Alpha Sam, the Knights. The team uses their mucky MB339 jet trainers. And look at that. They appear to almost be bolted together. This is formation flying at its very best. As a team, we are honored to be actually in the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
It shows the, the closer uh, relationship between the two countries or two governments and two air forces. His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed must be so proud to see his display team here at Bahrain International Air Show. It's been great for us. Uh, we can see it in people's eyes. Everybody's clapping and happy, and we are happy. With so many aircraft constantly maneuvering around Sakir, it's critically important that all ground movements are carefully mapped out and monitored. Johnny Sevilla is the man in charge. Mohamed, I left plenty of space in front of the Airbus, so... No, it's gonna be, there's one in front of it, and then there's three behind them. So it's pretty busy at this time. It's an international show, it's not just the Middle East here. Most of the world is coming to the show. So we are under a lot of pressure, got a lot of deadlines, so much activity all condensed in one or two days. All right, if there's any problems, so far so good. Yeah, there's no problem. You are here, no problem. All right. It's not easy. Shows like this, there's a lot of logistics, there's a lot of work, and you need all the friends you can get. You guys are doing a good job as usual. That was a pleasure. Perfect. Back in the world of civil aviation, the deal-making continues. And at Bombardier, the mock-up of the new jet is having the desired effect on customers. We've had a chance to meet all of the uh, carriers in this region and have some of the decision makers go through our mock-up and see what we have to offer. Last night, we announced our 11th customer for the C-Series, uh, Private Air. And uh, you never know. There's a few more days to the show, so maybe we could do more. And now, ladies and gentlemen, look at the car You'll see one of the most spectacular aircraft we have on display for you this afternoon. The French building, Rafale, which means school in English. This is a twin-engine Delta Wing fighter, a multi combat aircraft with semi-stealth capabilities. But perhaps, above all, a fantastically graceful performer. In the control tower, they're managing a constant stream of takeoffs and landings in rapid succession and on a tight, pre arranged schedule. What? 5,000. For air traffic controller Ahmed Ibrahim, there is zero margin for error. It's good, it's very busy in here that you have to do this kind of action at this certain time, at this certain second. Everybody has to be ready to meet the schedule. And each flight has to take off and be down within minutes. They are still on the extended runway 3 zero. Everybody has to be on time. That's our job.
Famously, air traffic controllers have one of the most demanding and stressful jobs in the world. Like most of his colleagues, Ahmed's shifts are limited to two hours, and his downtime is precious. Ahmed's usual workplace is Bahrain International's control tower, where he coordinates traffic in the 400 square miles of airspace around the island. solutions within seconds, take actions within seconds. Uh, otherwise, uh, with tension, with pressure, you can't work. Back at Sakhir, and a US Navy Boeing F-18 Super Hornet takes the stage. Grandstand and public area is open to everyone, and it was fully sold out weeks ago. The public section gives the, the people of Bahrain uh, a flavor of what's on offer, and aviation is such an exciting field. We want all the people, when they leave to their country, have good impression about Bahrain, that the Bahrainis provided all their professionalism. They facilitated all the work in a good manner. I see people are enjoying their time. Everybody is happy, this is what can I say. For those unable to get tickets, the hillsides of Jebel al dukhan make a good vantage point. Six-year-old Isa Ahmed is watching with his father and brother. is already an enthusiast, and like many other young Bahrainis, he may one day join the aviation safety. Over the next 20 years, the global aviation industry will need more than a million new pilots, engineers, cabin crew, and support staff. السلام عليكم حياكم الله في أكاديمية الخليج للطيران انتوا هني عندنا في الأكاديمية for Bahrain this is an irresistible opportunity and for Isa and his classmates it's an inspiration the Airbus A320 flight simulator at the Gulf Air Academy is used to train real pilots and it's a rare treat for a six-year-old. 
Bahrain's investment in this technology and aviation training across the board offers real possibilities for Isa and his school friends in years to come. In the main hangar, another foreign team, this time the British Army's Red Devils, is making its final preparations. Russian Knights, the display team of the Federation's Air Force, have flown four and a half thousand kilometers from their base outside Moscow. Чем ближе 
также мы будем э, э, взаимодействовать, разговаривать, тем э, мы будем больше обмениваться опытом. Кто-то возьмет у кого-то лучше и наоборот. И э, я думаю, что свои выступления мы э, красочность э, в это авиашоу. As the displays draw to a close, for young Issa and everyone else, it's been a long day of spectacular sights and sounds. Over three days, the show has welcomed delegations from 35 countries, with 20,000 trade show visitors and $800 million worth of business. This air show 2012 has exceeded our expectations. The amount of people who have attended, the caliber of companies who have attended, the level of sales that took place in the show, the amount of people who enjoyed themselves, it was an amazing event. Across the island, it's business as usual. And for the aviation community, life carries on with renewed pride and passion. Every officer, fighter pilot, maintenance officer has his role carried out to beat his uh, squadron standards. And if you have accomplished a challenging mission, then of course you will be proud of uh, yourself. One of the things that impressed my wife was that my job was challenging. She was proud and she still continues to be proud of me. This is my country and I love it. It's getting better as the years progress. Garfair gave me this opportunity to pursue my dream. So I'm quite happy and I'm just thankful I could do what I love to do.